What is the best time of the year to visit Thailand? If you're planning a trip to the country, this is a question you've probably asked. You might have done a Google search and conventional travel blogs will normally recommend between the months of November and April. This is the tourist high season. But the truth is that there isn't a one size fits all answer to this question. The best time to visit depends on your personal preferences. In this video, I'll go over each month of the year based on five key factors that you need to consider. Climate, cost, air quality, crowdedness, and events and activities. And after watching the video, you'll have the knowledge to decide which time of the year is best for you. And I'll also give you my own personal ranking of the best and worst times of the year for me. It might surprise you. Let's get started. Thailand has two main seasons, the rainy monsoon season and the dry season. The rainy season normally occurs between the months of June and November. And of course, the dry season occurs between November and June. The rainy season is considered the tourism low season. That means that prices will be considerably lower and beaches and tourist attractions will be much less crowded. So does it make sense to travel during the rainy season? The rainy season can be further divided into two distinct seasons. From June to August, you have the early rainy season. You normally get short, intense downpours around 4 or 5 p.m. and on some days it doesn't rain at all. And from September until late October, you have the late rainy season. This is the heavy rainy season. During these months, the torrential downpours can last hours and even days. The timing of the rains are much less predictable and you get severe flooding in different parts of the country. Personally, I love the early rainy season. The weather is very predictable, the temperatures are quite moderate, and the rain really clears the air. You have cheaper hotels, less crowded beaches and tourist attractions. This is a great time to travel. Conversely, from early September until late October, the rain is simply too intense, constant and unpredictable. This is definitely the cheapest time to visit, but unless you plan to spend a lot of time indoors, this might not be the ideal time to visit Thailand. Now let's move on to the dry season. November and December are the coolest months of the year, with average temperatures in the low 20s, that is Celsius. The rain has cleared and the air quality is quite good. And cities like Bangkok have many festive events for Christmas and New Year's. Actually, I think Bangkok may be more festive for Christmas than my home country of Canada. So this is a great time of the year to visit, especially if you want to escape those colder temperatures in Europe or North America. But this is the tourist high season, and this is the most expensive time of the year to visit, and it can be very crowded. As we move into January, the dry season becomes a lot less attractive. This is because Thailand has a problem with air pollution from January through March. Widespread crop burning causes smog to blanket much of central and northern Thailand, including Bangkok and PM 2.5 pollution levels in cities like Chiang Mai in the north reach hazardous levels which can be among the worst in the world. Prices are still higher because technically it is the tourist high season, but the air quality really degrades the quality of life in central and northern Thailand. If you plan to stay mostly in southern Thailand or in the islands, then this is still a reasonable time of the year to visit. As we move into March, the air quality begins to clear and the hot season begins. Average temperatures over 30 degrees, it is hot. It can feel like you're stepping into an oven. If you're heat sensitive, you might not enjoy this time of the year. For this reason, the prices and crowds drop a little bit. But from April 13th to 15th, you have the Thai New Year holiday of Songkran. This is probably the single funnest holiday in the world. The entire country becomes a giant three-day water fight. People line the streets with super soakers and water pistols and you can refill your guns every 20 meters or so for as little as five baht. This is a lot of fun. If you've ever wanted to see the land of smiles in full swing, this is the time to visit. 
But Songkran is probably the single most expensive time of the year to visit and it's also the most crowded. But it does only last a few days and it is well worth the experience. And the hot season lasts right up until June with marginally lower prices and slightly thinner crowds as we enter into our rainy season that we already covered. So let's give a ranking for the best and worst times of the year to visit. We have our best budget option and that is June to August. If you're looking for comfort, your number one option will be November and December. And if you're looking for moderate pricing and you don't mind the heat, then coming from the months of March through to June will definitely be your best bet. And you can enjoy Songkran, the funnest holiday in the world. Personally, if I'd never come to Thailand before, I would come during Songkran as this is just a bucket list experience. It's fantastic and I recommend everybody experience it once. Before we finish, let's go over the worst times of the year to visit. First, we have the late rainy season and second, we have my personal absolute worst time of the year to visit and that is between the months of January and March. This is technically the tourist high season, so you'll actually pay higher prices, but the air quality is so poor that it frankly isn't worth the trade-off and that makes this the worst time of the year to visit for me. But keep in mind that this doesn't apply if you plan to spend most of your time in the islands as the air pollution isn't nearly as bad there. Let me know what you think, what's your favorite time of the year in Thailand 